they won't get through. But you see, um, they weren't to know. They didn't they know exactly what had happened. And it's only when they got through and saw what destruction had been caused by the force of water that people realised it was impossible from the beginning. A lot of people recognise that the rescue operation was never ever going to be a real rescue operation, but it had to be done. If there was one fraction of a chance, where to go for it. It is obvious that the unrest was of great violence, and it is difficult to see how anybody could have survived at all. One body was recovered. It was felt to be too dangerous to reach the other six, but not everyone agreed. I was one of those who wanted the operation to continue. First of all, I wanted to get to the men because their loved ones needed to recover the bodies if they were dead, and there was always a possibility that they may be alive. It was important, in my view, that we discover what exactly had taken place. And the only way you could do that was to actually go into the area where the accident has occurred. The seal's coal face at Loft House still holds its deadly secrets. Arthur Scargill believes it's an accident that should never have happened, that a chain of events were allowed to unfold that meant the seven men of Loft House paid the ultimate price for coal. If the National Coal Board had simply sent geologists in order to establish whether or not the geological area was safe, then they would have discovered that it was not, and they would never have gone ahead with that coal face. And as a result, all the men who died would have been alive.